You Hebrews there, halt. Yes? What do you want? By order of the magistrate, your belongings are to be searched. What? what? What are you doing? This is a treasured possession of the magistrate. We know nothing of it. We sell you our grain, and this is how you return our kindness? So he must be the guilty one. I shall keep you here as my slave. Understand? But, but your lordship, Benjamin is truly innocent. There is nothing to discuss. Please, take me in place of Benjamin. Keep me as your slave instead. I cannot bear to see my father suffer anymore. If Benjamin does not return home, father will die from the grief at having lost yet another son. Another son? What do you mean by another son? Come, Simeon, answer me. What do you mean by another son? Our father, Jacob, who once lost a son named Joseph. Why did he lose this son? Why? Why did he lose a son? Uh, actually, we are to blame. We committed a great sin. Committed a sin? I will confess. Tell me the truth. I will. We were very jealous of our talented, idealistic little brother. So we threw him down a well. And you killed him? No. We sold him to a slave merchant. But it was the same as killing him. We have all regretted our deed ever since. Truly? Yes. We have committed a sin which is beyond redemption. Oh, Lord, please forgive us our terrible sin. My brothers, It is me, Joseph. What did you say? It is me, the brother you tried to kill and then sold away. Joseph. Joseph. My brothers sold me into slavery. But it was not you who sent me here to Egypt. It was God. And it was the Almighty who caused me to save Egypt from famine. Joseph! Benjamin! Joseph! Jacob, at the request of Joseph, moved his family to the land of Goshen. There, the famine was not so severe. The climate was mild and the land fertile. And then, one day, 17 years after they had come to Egypt. Jacob lay on his bed. Reuben, my eldest son. Simeon, Levi. Judah, Zebulun, Issachar, Dan, Gad, 
Asher, Naphtali, Joseph, Benjamin. Driven by famine, I left the land the Lord gave to our ancestor, Abraham, and came to Egypt. I will never be able to see that land again, but you shall return again someday. No, not you, but perhaps your sons shall. Your sons who make up the 12 tribes of our family shall see the land once more. I leave a portion of the land to each of you. Your descendants shall give your names to each piece of land, and they shall become the 12 tribes of Israel. I shall soon join the line of my ancestors. I want to be buried with my ancestors in a cave that is in the field of Ephron, the Hittite. It is in Machpelah, east of Mamre, in the land of Canaan. Abraham bought this land and the cave from Ephron for a burial ground. That is where Abraham and his wife Sarah are buried. It is where Isaac and his wife Rebecca are buried. And it is where I buried Leah.